guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Yeah. Weird. I'm yeah. gonna drink my own <laughs> So if you don't know me, I am Ashley White of Le Stilo Rouge. I'm a style blogger from Kansas City. Um, I've been blogging now for almost eight years. Mm -hmm. But this is my first sort of foray into the YouTube space. Uh, and I'm doing it with this gal. So she is a close friend of mine. I have known this is Stephanie Holly. And she is a master stylist at Beauty Brands. I came to you because I was looking to go blonde. And so about a year and a half ago, we started the blonde yep. journey. Um, we are currently, we're almost there. We are. I mean, I'm blonde. Very close. Yes. Like, this is not, this is not smoke and mirrors. Like, this is not a wig. <laughs> uh, but we are trying to get a sort of icy, almost platinum, blonde with a shadow root. And we are, we're very close. Very close. Very close. Yes. So close to get tasted. <laughs> so that's Steph. And we're here because we, we're obsessed with beauty products. We're obsessed with hair. Um... And we wanted to bring you our top five products that every girl, or guy, or guy, or guy, do you know, yeah. everyone, yeah. every mofo needs in their shower and in their beauty arsenal. Uh, so that's what we're going to dig into right now. These also make great stocking stuffers. We're coming up on holiday season. These are great to pop into beauty brands, pick them up and shove them in someone's stocking. Or this is a great gift that you can give any girl or guy and, uh, and know that it's going to benefit their hair. Definitely. Okay, so let's okay. dive in. So, uh, we're going to start with a pre-shower treatment. This mm -hmm. is kind of a mask, correct? Correct. All right. So, this is the Redken pH Bonder Post Service Perfector. So, this guy, I use this uh, before I shower a couple times a week. I put it on damp or wet weather. You want it to be wet. Wet hair. Yes. And then I wait about 10 minutes, jump in the shower, and rinse it out. So, Steph, talk more about, about this guy. So this is like Ashley said, when you get your hair wet, you're going to put it on, you're going to let it sit for 10 minutes, then shampoo and condition. Okay. The reason you're doing that is there's a step one and a step two that go with this that you can get done in the salon, but this is your take-home treatment. It is your sealing your cuticle, keeping your proteins in, adding some shine, just really helping seal the color in that you paid good money for to leave with. You want to keep it in your hair as much as possible. So post-service perfecter. Perfect. So this is, this adds, it's going to kind of strengthen your hair, mm -hmm. no matter if you're going blonde or if you've just had regular color put yeah. in or even, it's going to strengthen any kind of hair. hair. Yep. Got it. All right. So this is kind of a pre-masking sort of treatment before you jump in. This is the Amica Nourishing Mask. I love this stuff. I've been using it for several years and when Steph... I actually asked her to recommend a moisturizing treatment, and she pulled this off the shelf. I was like, oh, girl, I have that in my shower. That's fine. This is from Amika. I love their line because everything smells. Hang on. It's so good. Oh, my God. Wait, I got some on my chin. Mm. That's weird. <laughs> a little overzealous. Yeah. I'm moisturizing. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, so, so this is, um, they bill it as an intense conditioning and repair treatment for all hair types. So not just if you've got thick hair, not just if you're going blonde, but this adds moisture back in, which is super important all year round. If your hair is dry and brittle and fragile, your color is going to have a harder time penetrating into the cuticle and staying in the cuticle. That's so fair. If you're going to the salon, you're paying this money, and then you're not taking care of it at home, you're literally washing your money down the drain. Yeah, don't do that. It's kind of silly. Yeah, it's just dumb. It's kind of silly. Don't be dumb. So, and then your scalp is flaky and itchy, and this will just help prevent That's the that. title of this video. Don't be dumb. Don't be Use dumb. these things. I love it. So, I think that's an important point that you bring up. We do a lot of moisturizing. I mean, in the winter, I feel like the cold winter air completely zaps your skin of moisture. Mm -hmm. The heaters that we're running, I run a space heater under my desk at work because, like, our building is an icebox. So, all of these things just sort of, like, they, they just take all the moisture out. That's not just in your skin. That's your hair, too. So, yep. you have to add moisture back in. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and this Amica product does that. Yep. Okay, so next up, we've got a, so this is post-shower. Post this is shower. when you're getting ready to blow dry. So yep. this is pre-sort of heat treatment. Yep. This is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. So this one has a very sweet smell. It's almost like cotton candy to me, which is what I like about it. Um, it's a mist, so you spray it five, seven sprays all over your head. Um, it's when it's wet. When it's, it's wet. So yep. you're going to shower, get out, towel dry, comb it out. Spray this in before you blow dry. This is going to protect you because these blow dryers have temperatures anywhere from 250 to 450 degrees. Right. You're blasting your hair with intense heat, just like the space heater on your skin. Yeah. So you're wanting to really seal what you've done in the shower, close up the seal cuticle. Seal in that moisture. Yes. Yeah, seal okay. in the moisture, close up the cuticle, Smart. protect it from the heat that you're about to blast it with while you blow dry good. in your hot bathroom. And this leaves a nice sort of uh, scent behind, which I just smell this. It's mm -hmm. good. Um, so this, but this doesn't weigh your hair down. D not at all. It's very lightweight. It's a lot of products, I feel like when you use a blow dryer, you're blasting the smell right out. Yeah. This one leaves just a nice soft smell. So if you're not a perfume wearer, you do have a little bit of a sweet smell left. Your hair smells good, which is important after you wash it. Um, Definitely. So thin hair can use this too. It's not going to weigh it down. Yes. That's important. Thin hair, you'll, leave, you'll probably need three to five sprays versus the five to seven. 
Got it. Okay. So next up is the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. So this is after you blow dry when you're getting ready to use hot tools. Yes. Okay. So your hot tools are just like your blow dryer and they have very high temperatures. Typically we're using between 300 and 450 degrees, which is a third degree burn. Yeah. On your hair. Cook a pizza. Cook a pizza on yeah. it. So you're misting it with the aerosol so that way it is, again, sealing the cuticle, keeping the shine in, keeping your ends protected. It's just an all around good this product. Is your, you use this on me every single time mm -hmm. I'm in the salon. I yes. always walk out with yeah. I always walk out with a blowout. I don't do it on my own. No. Because I'm like, I just wear my hair all liney and weird. <laughs> this is TV hair. So uh, so you love this stuff. I, I see you reaching for it all the time. Yep. It's, it's good stuff. Last, to finish, we've got the Kenra Super Hold Finishing Spray, number 25. The numbers mean something with Kenra. So the numbers, just like Redken, they are going to indicate your holds. So your lower numbers are your lower holds, your higher numbers are your higher holds. Makes sense. 26 is actually Kenra's highest hold. This is 25, so we're one step below the highest hold. Okay. Um, but unlike some of your products like um, Big Sexy and TG, it's not stiff, it's not sticky feeling. You can still run your fingers through your hair after you use it. That's really important because I feel like sometimes when I do a couple layers of hairspray and I to kind of make the hold last all day, right. At the end of the day, I want to brush it out, and then I do, and it's still sticky, and it's still gross, so I almost feel like I need to jump back in the shower. This is not that way. No. This, you brush it out, you can go to bed, your hair's still clean, your hair's, your hair's still really fresh, yes. and you can sort of reset the next day. Yep. Touchable, but strong hold. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah, I, I like it. it. Hey, guys, so that is the top five products you need in your shower, in your beauty arsenal, right now for great hair all year long, but especially in the winter. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us. This was crazy. Um, I'm on my second glass. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to. All the products are linked down below, so you can grab them and snag them. You can walk into a beauty brand and get any of these as well. Um, but, yeah, subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Um, tell us your favorite hair products. We're always looking for new stuff to check out. And if you have any questions for me or Steph, leave them below. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.